Potato chips and pretzels don't have to be the only choice of cuisine at your World Series get-together. So today we've invited Chef Ron Douglas, author of America's Most Wanted Recipes, to bring us some dishes from your favorite neighborhood restaurants. Hi, Ron. Hey, Cyrus. Great to be on the show. Thanks. Thanks for coming. So why, you know, you don't need to order out. You should just make some stuff at home, and you can make some of your favorite re favorite dishes from some of your favorite restaurants, like Houston's right. and KFC. And So what are we going to make today? Right. Well, today we're going to make one of the recipes from this cookbook, America's Most Wanted Recipes. This mm -hmm. is the uh, Houston spinach and artichoke dip. Everyone loves this dip. It's a big hit at all the parties. Everyone loves spinach and artichoke dip, right. too. So let me ask you first, though. Let's, let's keep throwing this in. Well, let's right. go ahead and start. So right now we have uh, minced garlic and butter, um, you know, sauteing in there. And then we're going to add in the uh, flour. All right. So obviously that's the thickening agent. Right. Thicken it a little bit there. And what inspired you to start this book? Well, I started um, trying to copycat restaurant recipes back in 2003 as a hobby. And then I began posting my results on my blog on RecipeSecrets.net. And then from there, a lot of people got involved in the site. They started posting comments. They started providing feedback on the recipes. And eventually and it became right, or... special requests. And eventually it became a collective effort where we would um, you know, collectively try to t try um, different restaurant recipes and try to conquer them. And, and b before you know it, we had enough to produce a cookbook. And it was such a demand for it. We put that out there. It really wow. went well. So you're making a roux here, actually, which is the butter, flour, and milk. And, right. It's the base for the, the spinach yeah. dip. Then we uh, put the heavy cream in. Oh, you use heavy cream. Yeah. yeah. So you're not really saving calories, Ron. You're just... <laughs> well, with this, with this recipe, you can. Like, the good thing about making restaurant recipes at home, you can make it to your own liking. So yeah. you, could, you could use a low-fat milk if you wanted to. But, you know, the cream, this is a Super Bowl or a World Series party. So, you know, you're drinking beer, you're eating hot wings. So. Yeah. This is great because it's football season, so great for the um, World Series, and then you can carry right. these recipes over and watch your football games with exactly. all this food. You've got chicken wings, potato skins, and those are the lettuce chicken wraps, which are my favorite. Those have to be a little bit healthier. Right. This is my version of P.F. Chang's uh, chicken lettuce wraps, and then you have my version of uh, KFC honey barbecue wings, which is always a great hit, and um, then you have the uh, TGIF potato skins there. I'm going to have to try those, too. Right. Okay, so keep going with this. Okay. Actually, I'm going to taste this while you're okay. doing that. <laughs> Put the uh, lemon juice in there. The game's starting soon. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of hot sauce. Oh, those are good. Okay. Salt. Okay. I'm going to whisk while you put stuff in. Okay. All right, so then you've got a whole bunch of Parmesan cheese there. Right, this is Romano cheese. Oh. Really, the secret to this recipe is aged Romano cheese. All right, so it gives it a little bit more headiness. All right. All right. Get that going. And you uh, let the cheese melt a little bit. Yep. Ooh, I'm splattering, too. <laughs> okay. We've got it in uh, sour cream. Yep. What are some of your other favorite recipes? Uh, well, in the book, I have the uh, Oreo cookie cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Yum, one of my I love that. There's a version of uh, KFC original chicken yep. in the book. You know, there's over 200 recipes from 57 different chains, all uh, my version of the different copycat recipes you, from restaurants. You went home and tested and made 200 different recipes, like after you went to a restaurant? Well, over time, you know, each week I would do two or three. You know, this, I started doing this in 2003. Go ahead, just dump it Put in. Put the uh, artichokes in there. Yeah. All right, so All right. it took you since 2003 to do the 200 recipes. That makes a lot more sense right. because it takes a long time to test a recipe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, it was a collective effort between the community on my website as well. The people, they, they all pitched in. Oh, my wife nice. helped out as well. So does she like all this, like, game food too? Oh, yeah, she loves this. It's always a big hit at uh, World Series parties. and. So the benefit of this is you get to make it at home. You get to take the credit for it. Right. And you probably save some money. Exactly. You can save a lot of money doing this. By making it at home, you know, instead of the restaurants, and you get big kudos from your family and friends when they see you've made these dishes yourself. They won't believe it. Uh, they won't believe it. Uh, absolutely. This is the final ingredient. We just uh, more cheese. Add the cheese over the top there. And I'm going to try one of these over here. This is actually the finished product. Right. And this is the Houston spinach and artichoke dip. Oh my gosh, that's really good. Oh, thanks so much. You should take it to them and see what they think. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ron, so much for coming by. Okay.